Great, welcome back. Now, last year, December, was a great time to be in Ghana. So many people were in town. We had so much fun. So many events happened. And a lot of people made a lot of money, especially the event organizers, because there were too many people to attend even the very few events that, you know, were, um, were splashed in the entire December, MFR. Yeah. And I know. So coming out of that shock into a January, knowing that now the president has declared this year beyond the return, and, um, you know, in anticipation for the excitement again, you know, event organizers are actually jumping in to try and pull off more events and uh, come up with exciting, um, you know, plans for this whole Easter, uh, pending Christmas, um, you know, there's going to be VGMAs, three music awards, you name them. But coronavirus steps in. Sadly. I like that word. Yeah, sadly. Sadly. Now, the big question is that how have we been affected or how have these event organizers been affected heavily by this, the ban on social gatherings as a directive by the president? This morning, we are joined by Kuka and uh, my brother Rick um, to share, you know, in conversations and to look at this critical issue that we are facing. Gentlemen, you're welcome. Thank you. I was particularly looking forward to the Free Music Awards because we had a successful nominee announcement. Yeah. The yes. launch of it was, was really sterling. I was really looking and waiting for 28th of March. Are the you heartbroken? The way he's crossed his legs, he, it, it tells me that he's going to jump the president on this initiative. No, he would not. <laughs> Will you, Coca? No, I mean, we, oh, we are with him. him. We are with him. Uh, I mean... Finally, we get Coca to Coca be with to, somebody. To, 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 to I somebody. mean, we are with him. We, there's a time we all need to be together uh -huh. to, to forge together, learn and correct. I also feel as, a, as more for me as a positive side to all this, to take stock of how we've done things and how to proceed. Because we've been in a, a running mill. We've never had time to look at things. The reason saying that is, after this period, you need to convince somebody to go out because they are going to be used staying indoors. You need to work extra hard to convince, and it means you have to be innovative. Also, I cite, and it's painful that these event organizers are going to struggle, but it's also an opportunity. The content that you already have, you make them available on the guitar platforms, package them well, okay. short ones, and direct so that it will live in their mind so that when you, the times are over for you to go back, they can communicate with you. But when we step back for adulterated content to fill the space, we will struggle. Well, Rick is a member on the team on Three Music Awards, so I'm coming to you to ask you, so what, what is happening or what has been a discussion within the team with regards to Three Music Awards and, you know, um, Pair the president's directive on holding on with all social gatherings. Well, More than 25 persons. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, we are still planning. We, we haven't stopped. It's still ongoing. Plans are still ongoing. And obviously, it's going to happen. But how, yeah. how has it affected you guys? Well, um, a lot of things, you know, that we've put in place in terms of um, investment and all of that, um, planning, um, running around and all of that. Obviously, it has affected us. But like I'm saying, we are not stopping. We have backup plans. You get it. So we, we are not too shaken by this, even though the world is shaken. <laughs> we, on our part, you know, are putting things right to make sure that you know the let event me, still happens. Let me let me understand you clearly. If you mean that it's it's ongoing, would you mind so sticking to the dates that we know and? No, know? we are not sticking to the dates. Okay. Like like we announced earlier, we've postponed it. Right. But there are plans. There are serious discussions we are having you know, internally to make sure it happens even before the virus, um, you know, ends or dies out. So yeah, obviously yeah. the awards is going to come on. The awards is going to happen. Yes, so this is this well, is great. our news for you. There's another twist to this thing that um, I want to come to you, Koko. Now, of course, this also brings about conversations on employment and joblessness and, you know, staying uh, idle. I mean, uh, wh what's your take on this? Because there is no definite date to say that we are going to, um, you know, this is going to be, uh, the ban will be lifted. And, of course, this means that a very huge area, even as the uh, CEO of GTA mentioned that, you know, it's a huge loss of revenue to us. Um, joblessness. Yeah, I mean, I'll use Nigeria as an example. They have estimated um, $20 million as, as at yesterday, the cost 
of what they are going to lose during these times. Um, it's beyond just job. It's even your craft. You, it might become absolute by the time these times are over. So um, it will virtually affect everything. And when you take our industry, you have a bit of every industry within it. So it's not just job. But I keep saying that there is another door. A lot of people are going to show boredom because they need to be in indoor. You need to use your creativity on the guitar platforms to engage. Mm -hmm. They have three music. They have content. They've, they've run it for two years. They have content. They need to build it gradually. And there is nothing stopping us from going to production house to work. Get people engaged. Let them be there so that at least you will make a bit of revenue from your content side. But if you sit idle to wait, this is not France where they will say your rent should be suspended. This is not America where there will be a bailout. Each one for himself. So you need to be creative. Even though these bands are there, you need to, you need to find loopholes to operate. That, yeah. that, is, that is the only way you can survive. Mm -hmm. they, are, they are kids we are here. Parents are working now. What are their kids doing? If you don't have anything that is engaging, you are rather exposing them the more. So these are times event organizers need to find ways of being creative and get production people to help them upload their content on the guitar platform, which will also help them to make revenue. You're it's saying people are going to be used to being at home, and that even I, I want to throw this to Rick as well. And um, exactly, let's say the band has been lifted. Now people are still going to be careful about you know attending events and crowded coming to crowded places you know it, it, it would, is that perception or mindset a, a threat to you guys in any way not necessarily three music but you yeah. know to event organizers yeah. because i would still want to feel like i mean i don't want to wake up and just go anywhere yet but this honestly, whole year i won't go anywhere it's quite debatable it's in our dna to still want to jump and go out no yeah. take it yeah. from the um 82 yes mm -hmm. when they're cool and all those things there we have moved from transition and these things are part of us I mean, because of my theater background, I saw my dad struggle, do plays that nobody wants to come. Mm. Even when you invite them free, they won't come. They are used to their homes. They are used to TVs. And remember, those times was one channel. Right now, you have multiples. So the conversation becomes difficult. Unless you engage, and then the person knows where he is going to and what he will get out of that place. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah, well, um, for me, my position has always been, I think we've actually been forced to, conf to, be, um, to confront um, an outbreak of misinformation, in my opinion, where I sit. Because I feel that um, there's a lot more, um, you know, that, that we should be discussing rather than um, the other parts of it. Like, um, because if you look at the statistics, the number of people that have actually been infected that have actually, um, you know, recovered from it. If you look at the statistics, to comparing to, um, you know, the number of deaths, we are discussing too much of the other side. Negative. Than, yeah. yeah, and that's why we are here. That's why we, we are all discussing this now. Because it's interesting analysis. Yeah, Rick. yeah, because it's true. It, the, the statistics actu actually state that um, like 88,000 actually, um, you know, have actually recovered. Why are we not looking at? The, the, way, um, the measures that actually got them out of it. Should we not be discussing that more than the, um, you know, 4,000, 5,000 people that have actually died worldwide? So for me, I'm like, what is happening? I see this more of a political, you know, thing than what is happening. Do because you mean politically for the whole world? Yeah, or for yeah. Just Ghana? Well, no, not, not, not for Ghana. Worldwide, I see it more like a political game for me, personally, my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. I, it feels like a political game than something, you know, or, than what we are facing. Because like I'm saying, all airports have been closed. A lot of everything is on lockdown. Nothing is happening because you get it. Beca yeah. when, when, when you look at the other side of it, I'm like, um, people are also dying. Recently, I checked the stats and over like in, in Ghana, between January and February, over 393 people have died out of road accidents. But we cannot overemphasize the number of persons that have lost their lives, even if it was two or three. Okay, so I'm saying that over 393 people in Ghana in just one month mm -hmm. 
have died, died out of road, road accidents. Accident. Why, exactly. are we, why is it that not a big conversation? I think 18 people died recently of uh, CSM, cerebral spinal Exactly. That's what I we can't go there. Why? why <laughs> because because every, <laughs> every disease is more like a product that is killing. So, but we should look at this social impact this one is having on us. Yeah. For me, I, I, I have a reserve position. The main producer of this virus, right? Is there any? Has, has shut down from yesterday, saying that they have not recorded Not producer, anybody. the origin, the originator, or the where, origin, where the virus, don't be like Donald like Trump this morning. Uh, but I side with him. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Where did the virus come from? Ah, see, and you put what, Corona or Carina or whatever. It's Chinese. It's from there. Okay. They are the reason we are where we yeah, are. Well, the virus is not tribalistic, or uh, it's, yeah. it just happened yeah. to have started off in China. Let's, let's leave it at that. It has no respect for gender. Yes. We agree. Yeah. But it came from a country. Okay. Yes. It doesn't necessarily mean. Why are we shutting our borders? But it doesn't necessarily mean. Why are we shutting our borders? Is it here? One of the ways to And curve. all the people that have come in are what? Imported cases. Yes. And I don't understand why people are still sitting in the airport and will not shut it down. I don't understand sometimes why we allow stupidity to eat into us okay. to the point that we lose everything before we realize that this is not about us. It is something we are bringing in. We are in times that people, somebody is coming from Europe and you are walking away. Those times you meet them for their staff. Now you tell them, who do you first see? I'm a Can't you reason? Well, I want to get the point. Uh, My <laughs> point is that thing yeah. is an important thing. Yes. So if we shut down, we can control what is here. But in shutting down as well, it has its uh, impact, a lot of, of impacts, importations, you know, and uh, so and you, you take it. I mean, I, I know some example, the VGMAs and all, yes. we, we do invite, do we bring in logistics sometimes from outside, outside. to add to what we have to give so us the experience. So today, if a VGA member is inve infected, would they say they should bring the things in? Sometimes we need to look at issues differently. Now, every house mm -hmm. that somebody has gotten it, fair and squarely, there is this myth that if the person is coming, I'm walking away. Pe so if somebody has it, because we are not preaching cure, or people can recover, mm -hmm. there is that fear. I don't want to associate with it. Mm -hmm. My mom is coming from Kumasa. I told her she shouldn't even move. She should stay there. We'll find ways and means. Because my, my mindset that now is closer to you. We should look at it that way. Mm -hmm. Once, uh, once we, we shut the borders, we can't control are it. Are we ever going to be able to recover, especially I'm, I'm talking about events and activities, easily from this? Because like you're saying, based on what you're saying, then I'm going to have a problem waking up and going to a social gathering. Even in April, they tell yeah. me that they found a cure. It is the well, reason I told you that the first point is to shut down your airport. When you shut down, nobody is coming in. Then you control whatever it is. If the people get to feel they are safe, and the thing is they are being protected. And these conversations start going on that, oh, it is not here. We have not recorded it. Even those who have it, these are the processing we are taking them through. This is the recovering rate. Then you see the person, I mean, in activity and things. In Africa, we want to see. It, Africa is the only place where when we say there is a disease here, we walk to go and see you. We don't, we don't listen. So let people feel safe by letting them know that those who have gotten it, this is the process they've gone through, and they are safe. Because it's still in our minds that if you get it, the likelihood of getting it, you get it again. And we are allowing people, information outside, rather, to destroy us than okay. what you are giving yeah. us here. Uh, uh, look, before okay. I yeah, okay, you want water? No, no, no. Ricky, we're where we are. Yeah. The situation is here. Yeah. Uh, believe it or not, you, you want the positive side of it, yeah. but uh, you're unable to control the mindset of people as a country. We're guided by morals, value, culture, lots of things going to the thinking of a person. And I'm worried about your stakeholders, partners, sponsors. What differently are you doing to hold on to them? What differently are you doing so that even after the scare and the, you know, the fear, so you called, or cool, yeah, you still, you still hold to on, hold to, on the, to, yes, you. to the brand, the Three Music Award? So with regards to your partners, your you partners, know, all your sponsors yes. and you persons doing? who have committed to your... your well, well, we still keep in touch. We still have a relationship with them. And yeah. you see, in this period, we all understand that it is a natural, you know, disaster, more, more to say. It is not... Um, something from our part as organizers. So obviously stakeholders, sponsors, everybody understands the situation that we are in. We okay. all um, act 
um, you know, responsibly to, you know, to society. And right. that's what we are all doing. Let me ask you back to you, Koka. So um, one of the biggest revenue sources for musicians in Ghana is from, of course, from performances. Uh, let's be realistic. I, yeah. I think you side with me on that. All yeah. across yeah. the world, um, not even just Ghana. Well, well some yeah. are making it from endorsements, others yeah, are making the biggest it from... Revenue recently, Shashawale declared about $2 million. But um, endorsement, who is, what are you going to endorse? No, hold on. I'm just saying... CB19? Before. No, before, prior to this this <laughs> coronavirus spread. We have now, a to I, I, I <laughs> want us to look at... Scary, I want us to look at the musicians as well and... Um, how you think this is also going to affect them, uh, if it is going to affect them? It's the affecting end. them. My artist had to, as of yesterday, send over 53,000 to different people that he is supposed to perform for. And this is the only thing he does. So you, you sit and all of a sudden your name, your campaign and everything has been done. No fault of yours or the other person. But you need, you know where we come from, the cultural thin place, that this is not about me and you. So if it's not going to happen, give me my money. Is the reason why I'm saying that the only way an artist can survive is to get somebody who will push your digital platforms. So that in terms of downloads, in terms of streams, in terms of views on YouTube, or digital platforms, make yourself available. Make do things, engage your I mean, people, because we're just about them. to enter the Easter period, and uh, you know, Kwe will bring a lot of events. It's, and, it's shut. Um, right. So clearly, yeah. a lot of artists are out of the conversation. Even when there was no Kwe, yeah. a lot of people will not get to do. That's why I say that there is also an opportunity that the person you want to send your song to was that busy. Now, there is a bit of room where the person is relaxed. How do you communicate to that person? And, and let's be honest. I don't see anybody saying the whole day he's listening to Famille or listening to Shatawale. There will be varieties. So artists need to get aggregated to make sure their digital front, they are, they are, they are, they are well positioned. Videos, conversations, their songs, their albums. So that when I go to a digital platform, it's easy for me to listen. As I was coming, I was listening to songs on Boom Play. You get me? So it's also an opportunity, and you make money out of it. Yeah. So it's also an opportunity. But if you sit there and you cry, waiting for this thing to end, it has ended in a developed country two months. So you have to multiply that by two, and you know when it will end in Africa, because the politicians also have to chop. Well, if it's chloroquine that will sort the problem out, I think we have a lot in our <laughs> pharmacy. So that one, I can guarantee that the prices will never go. Oh, no, <laughs> I'm saying that if you, in China, it's, I mean, yesterday, it's yes. been two months. Yeah. They said now they have not recorded anything. Mm -hmm. Your numbers, they, they come in doubles. So your projection should be, if they are two months, you should do two times two. It should tell you, give you a fair idea when it's likely to end. Now you need to work on the mind of Ghanaians mm. that yes, you can go out because you are push, you're pushing them in. Now we are witnessing in Europe, compulsory shutdown, where police and military are out that people should go in. Yeah. Railways are being cut and things. We have families who are communicating to us. Now, a lot of them send in revenue for us to depend on. When they tell you stay indoors and this, mm. psychologically, by the time we realize that thing has come to stay with us, we are indoor people. So basically, if I understand you, Koka, it's, it's, it's an indoor problem. Yes. And so event organizers should look at marketing their product or services yes. in a way that whether you're in or out, the consumer can still yes. consume it. VGMA, a here? lot of people have not watched a lot of their VGMAs. Package them. Mm. I mean, we also have times that people get bored with stuff easily. Mm -hmm. So if it's 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, package them in a way that people can go and watch. And then you also make some money. Ricky, well, are you considering well, this? <laughs> well, I was probably going to ask it, you yeah. that same question. Then. <laughs> well, just, sorry, just to add to it so they can answer both at the same time. So um, will it be okay, okay that in also uh, to cut budgets and create a new experience, based on what Emma is saying, that let's say three music awards, there's no more going to be the dome <laughs> costs and um, probably in invite industry players to uh, experience. Well, 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 I, I don't know. And then focus more on television because I don't, that gives a wider reach. I don't know who you've been speaking to, but when I said the event was going to happen, I realized MFR was 
you know, she didn't feel uncomfortable. She didn't feel comfortable about yeah. me saying because in this crisis, in this time, I'm yeah, I'm still I'm, saying I made the my event. dress down already. <laughs> I'm still <laughs> saying the event is happening. Yes, of course, that's one thing we've considered. We are considering actually the virtual awards. And it wasn't something that, that was why I kept saying it will happen. It wasn't something that, you know, I was supposed to even speak about now. But because you've mentioned, of, of course, that's one thing we are considering of doing. The virtual award. That the, sounds, sounds, yeah, uh, the virtual, yeah, the yeah. music, the virtual award. So we are going to get industry players, board members, academy members. Not more know, than 25. No, no. No, no then they'll run <laughs> no. shift. The, the and then, they'll run 25 we, in, 25 <laughs> out. <laughs> we, we, are just, we are still oh, trying to figure one. it out and then make sure that, you know, something of that sort happens. A live stream, everybody is on trying to monitor and follow up. But to touch on what Koka was saying, you see, speaking a lot about digital and digital and all of that, it's difficult in this period now. People are not even listening to music. If you are doing research well, People are, not, people are more focused on the latest information about the virus. I tell you what, it's the information that's been made available. Make yours yes. available. You see, you see so that's why I'm saying yeah. that the problem is also from us. The information is too much on, you know, sometimes you, you control what the public wants to hear or what the, um, the public's mind. That is our duty. That is what we should be doing. But unfortunately, a lot of the conversations are... 11, um, how do you call it, people infected. Oh, but there are people who are interested in it, oh. Oh, Let me give you for me a situation on the downloads so that well, you understand. I think I have 30 seconds Yesterday, yeah. yesterday, as of yesterday, he was around 533. Mm -hmm. This morning, he's around over 900K. 9K so or 900K? 900,000. There's a nine somewhere. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you, you get me? 900K. It yeah. tells you there's been over a 400 okay, people yeah who are watching. So it tells you there is demand. Yes. So if you position yourself, and I'm not speaking from vacuum, I have, I'm doing a chat show, I have realized that a lot of people's streams and downloads are going up. I have well, to hold on with you. All guy. I know is whatever <laughs> happens, the music awards, one way or the other, will happen. Yeah, exactly. Whether indoor or so, outdoor, all I know is I'll take my shower, make up, <laughs> wear my outfit no, and face it. So Kum Chacha put up a video and then he said that, well, the, since the president says that we shouldn't do more than 25 people on, you know, at social gatherings, his church service will be will start off early in the morning. First 25 come, he finish, you go. <laughs> Next 25 comes. And he will run so shift. And every 20 minutes, number. he will change. He says by 1 o'clock, he'd have served everybody who comes to his church. So watch out for his times. We'll, we'll make those times available for you. Gentlemen, thank you so very thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Know that we're with you, whatever the decision yeah. yes. will support. Thank you, so thank you very much. Thank you very much, Koka, as well. Thank All you, right. Koka.